For decades, the prevailing narrative suggested that early hominins, our ancient human ancestors, first ventured out of Africa and into Europe around 1.8 million years ago, as evidenced by the fossil-rich site of Dimenisi in Georgia. However, a groundbreaking discovery in Romania has changed this timeline. It has pushed back the earliest known evidence of hominin presence in Europe by hundreds of thousands of years. But what makes this discovery so extraordinary? And how does it reshape our knowledge of the human story? The story begins in Africa, which is widely considered by most scientists to be the cradle of humanity. Here, the earliest hominins emerged around 6 to 7 million years ago. Over millions of years, these hominids evolved and developed traits such as bipedalism, larger brains, and the ability to use tools. By around 2 million years ago, a species known as Homo erectus had emerged. It was characterized by its upright posture, advanced tool use, and increased cognitive abilities. It is believed that Homo erectus was the first hominin species to migrate out of Africa, spreading into Asia and Europe. For many years, the Demonisi site in Georgia was considered the oldest evidence of hominin presence outside of Africa. It is dated to approximately 1.8 million years ago. For a long time, the fossils and stone tools found at Demonisi were the main source of evidence for the early migration of hominins into Eurasia. Until now. The Valia Lui Groenchanu site is located in the Oltets River Valley in Romania's Volcha County. It has been a focal point for archaeological research since the early 1960s. Initial excavations at the site uncovered a lot of faunal remains, including bones from ancient mammals such as deer, horses, and even saber-toothed cats. However, the true significance of these findings remained largely unexplored until recently. It was only through the re-examination of these fossils by an international team of researchers that evidence of hominin activity came to light. The recent findings at Valea Louis Granchanu are nothing short of revolutionary. An international team of researchers comprising scientists from the United States, the United Kingdom, Moldova, Australia, Sweden, and Romania analyzed over 4,500 fossil fragments collected from the site. They used advanced techniques, including high-precision microscopes and the uranium-lead dating method. The team identified clear signs of hominin activity on 20 of these fossils. At least eight of these fossils displayed definitive evidence of artificially made incisions. This means that these incisions had been deliberately cut by hominins. The placement of these incisions is particularly noteworthy. They are located in anatomical positions that correspond to muscle attachment sites. This suggests that the hominins were engaged in defleshing, the process of removing soft tissues from bones. This activity points to a level of cognitive and motor skills previously unattributed to such early European inhabitants. The ability to use tools for butchery purposes implies that these hominins were not only physically capable, but also possessed the mental acuity to plan and execute complex tasks. This challenges the traditional notion of a gradual and linear progression in human cognitive and technological development, where early species were seen as initially primitive, only progressing technologically with time. Instead, it shows early hominins as highly adaptable and resourceful beings who were capable of tool use as well as executing relatively complex tasks like defleshing. The research team also employed a combination of advanced analytical techniques to arrive at their conclusions. One of the key methods used was the uranium-lead or UPB dating technique. This method is particularly effective for determining the age of objects older than 1 million years. It involves analyzing the decay of uranium isotopes into lead within the mineral structure of bones. By measuring the ratio of uranium to lead, scientists can estimate the age of the fossils with a high degree of accuracy. The fossils at Valea Louis Gronchanu were dated to approximately 1.95 to 2 million years ago, making them the oldest evidence of hominin activity in Europe. This finding not only predates the Demonisi fossils, which were dated to approximately 1.85 to 1.77 million years, but also aligns with discoveries in other parts of Eurasia. In addition to dating the fossils, the researchers used high-resolution microscopic analysis to examine the cut marks on the bones and ensure they were not caused by other aspects of nature, such as other animals or natural injuries. Specifically, the marks have V-shaped cross-sections and parallel striations, which are unlikely to result from natural processes such as animal gnawing or geological abrasion. The precision and consistency of these markings provide strong evidence that they were made by hominins using stone tools. The combination of these techniques allowed the researchers to confidently conclude that the fossils from Valia Louis Gronchanu 
represent the oldest known evidence of hominin activity in Europe. The findings at Valle Louis Gronchanu have significant implications for our understanding of early hominin migration and settlement patterns in Europe. Prior to this discovery, the oldest European sites with evidence of hominin activity included Barranco Leon in Spain, dated to 1.5 million years, Cocabash in Turkey, dated to 1.3 million years, and Cima del Elefante in Spain, dated to 1.2 million years. The evidence from Valia Louis Gronchanu, dated to 195 to 2 million years, not only predates these sites but also suggests that hominins were present in Europe much earlier and more widely dispersed than previously believed. This discovery aligns with findings from other parts of Eurasia, where evidence of hominin presence has been dated to between 2 and 2.6 million years ago. For example, sites in China, Russia, India, and Pakistan have yielded fossils and stone tools that indicate an early and widespread dispersal of hominins across the continent. Collectively, these findings also challenge the traditional out-of-Africa model, which posits a relatively late and gradual migration of hominins into Eurasia. Instead, they suggest that hominins may have ventured out of Africa earlier and more intermittently, and adapted to a variety of environments and ecological niches. The evidence from Valia Louis Gronchanu also raises new questions about the roots and mechanisms of early hominin migration. It is possible that hominins entered Europe via multiple routes, including the Balkans, the Caucasus, and the Middle East. The discovery also provides previously unknown details about the social and cultural lives of these early hominins. The act of defleshing animals for food suggests a level of cooperation and social organization, as well as an understanding of the nutritional value of meat. It is possible that these early hominins lived in small groups, working together to hunt, butcher, and share food. This social behavior would have been crucial for their survival in the challenging environments of early Europe. While the findings at Valea Louis Gronchanu are groundbreaking, they also raise numerous questions that warrant further investigation. One of the most pressing questions is the identity of the hominin species responsible for the cut marks on the bones. While some researchers suggest that the traces could be attributed to Homo erectus, definitive evidence is lacking. The absence of actual hominin fossils at the site makes it difficult to determine which species was present. Future discoveries of hominin fossils in the region would be instrumental in clarifying this aspect. Another area of interest is the technological capabilities of these early hominins. The absence of the actual tools used for butchery leaves a gap in our understanding of their tool-making techniques and cultural practices. Future excavations in the region may uncover stone tools or other artifacts that could provide further insights into the technological skills of these early humans. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss our future uploads. And don't forget to like and share it with your friends. If you have any questions or comments, we'd love to hear from you in the section below. See you next time.